And the other, here's the other problem with the church is that anytime a person is in need, y'all go to running and dropping money. But let me tell you something. The poor will be with you always. And there is no blessing connected to blessing the poor other than getting back what you gave to them. But no multiplication. Multiplication is segregated for tithes and offering. When you give to the poor, the only thing you do is help them, but you don't help yourself. So when you give a dollar to somebody on the street talking about I did my job, God like, thank you, but it ain't going to help you. Read your Bible. Charity does not bring wealth. Only the tithe does that. Matter of fact, you don't believe me? Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to preach on it. Yeah, man. Um, he was going ten toes down, man. Um, and it sounded like he was talking to his church, like y'all, y'all giving that top money to the homeless man or some charity, but y'all need to give up in here. What you guys think, man? Mm, I have so many thoughts, but since he said read your Bible, I would love to start. <laughs> um, Everybody open our Bibles up to Proverbs 19 and 17. We're in the ESV. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord and he will repay him for his deed. Acts 20 and 35. In all things I have shown you that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said it is more blessed and give than to receive. Matthew 19, 21, if you would be perfect, go and sell what you possess and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Come and follow me. Proverbs 28 and 27, those who give to the poor will lack nothing, mm. but those who close their eyes to them receive many curses. Mm. That's just a few. I know y'all got a lot. Y'all could drop them in the comments too. Also, it's a scripture that says those who refresh others will also be refreshed. Yeah. Mm. And it's like, when I listen to what he's saying, Multiplication is only subject to tithes and offer. What do we multiply? You talking about money? Like that's what we're talking about? Am I giving to get something in return? Mm -hmm. What's the what's the what's the stance somebody? Am I giving because somebody's in need and I want to show love to that person? Or am I giving because I have an expectation to get something back? And then I'm looking at you. You got designer clothes on every week. <laughs> hey man, that doesn't matter. Mm. I'm, 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 just, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a bean. <laughs> you got designer clothes every week. You got a stand they got a stadium for a church. You not hurting, you not lacking. So you trying to tell me. I'm wrong because I give to somebody who's out here on the street who may be homeless, who may be lacking, who, for whatever reason, I'm supposed to walk by them and just give my money to you. Like, I don't necessarily agree with that. And then also, I would say it just it just come across like, what do you? What's your agenda? What's your move? Like, mm -hmm. what, what you trying to do? It sounds like you're doing a fundraiser. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I just I just can't really respect that, especially when you just name several scriptures where God is saying like, yeah, the poor will always be with you. That don't mean ignore them. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, 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 yeah. But I think also, too, I, I think from his perspective is this. I don't think he's saying don't give to the poor. I think he's saying that tithe money that you promised me that you made a quote unquote, not quote unquote, but you 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 a member of my church. You made a you, you're saying in the membership probably that you were tithe. So instead of giving your tithe to these organizations or or the poor, you're not giving it here. I'm, I'm saying that you made a covenant with me in the in, in, in the church. Give me the tithe if you want to give other stuff to other people then that's fine but give me my tithe money it's another problem too not give me mine but give the lord his tithe you said money. it right for you said it right, <laughs> right. you said it right, you said it right. My money. it's another problem too we talked about it before the show the old testament principle of, tith of tithing with the 10 percent or whatnot and some people say new testament but yeah old testament for the most part the 10th when you saw the church beginning in the book of acts they gave it they were led by the holy spirit mm -hmm. and a lot of churches don't want to teach that principle they want to beat you down with tithes and offering they want to make you feel guilty because they're scared the door's not gonna stay open. But what I feel like is if I gotta lie to you, persuade you, or coerce you to give money so the church stays here, maybe the church not supposed to be there. Ooh. If I can't teach the truth and you give from your heart and we still remain here as a pillar in the community that God can use, then maybe we're not supposed to be there. I'm not finna lie to you, I'm not finna trick you or make you feel guilty because you wanna help the less fortunate or the poor so you can bring money in here where well, we got air conditioning and we got cushion seats and you fresh every weekend yeah. you doing good it ain't like you hurting mm -hmm. like in the scripture that said it like who gonna give to the poor they're not gonna be taken care of by God yeah. do we believe what the scriptures say Yeah, you know what I'm saying so it, it just but, I don't know but James you gave that covenant brother you signed oh, that, that you signed that mission 
when you came in and you signed the membership, the membership, and you said, "Hey, I want to join your church," and you and, and in the membership covenant it says, "I will tie my ten percent to to this church." But you if are I not got, doing what you said that you hey, were going to do. If I got to sign a contract to go to your church, I ain't going anyway. <laughs> That's that not part. a contract. It's just a membership statement. I ain't signing nothing. <laughs> I think Y'all you, rogue Christians in here today. I ain't signing well, nothing. I'll be rogue then. <laughs> rogue by the scriptures. I ain't signing nothing. Because for me, even with grace, I feel like it enhanced a lot of things. So it's like yeah. if you asking me and you commandeering 10% bro okay cool let me give you your 10% because I really want to give you 30 but I ain't cool <laughs> yeah that's real that's real but, oh, but that's real. yeah but everything has changed in that too yeah. plus two one thing I really don't care for about inferring it's like I'm a very literal person so it's like this is what you said verbatim yeah and it is not about you and it is not about us and it just really reminded me of like this is like heresy and pro- prosperity heresy at best the scriptures are are even giving is not about us. It's about right. God. Yeah. I want to give this to you because I only have this hundred because you gave it to me. Mm-hmm. You Man. know, so it's like it's not about me multiplying anything. It's not about me being blessed. Me being blessed should not be the center and the yeah. focus of my actions and what I do. Yeah. Your blessings come from knowing Jesus, honestly, mm-hmm. having a submitted life to him. Man, be um, aware of a church that's trying to leverage God, man. Yeah. Any church. I ain't, I, I'm not gonna just. I'm very. I don't call people false prophets very easy, but you can have a. You <laughs> Depending can, on the person. Yeah, Jamal. Hey, look like a duck, quack like a duck, oh, walk man. like a duck. I believe Jamal Bryant a false prophet, but <laughs> when you you can have a false teaching without being a false prophet. That's true. I, I think that teaching right there was incorrect. I don't think that's the proper teaching for that. Um, and I don't know, man. I just think when somebody trying to leverage God, and we if you like you said, if you're like being compelled to give, so you get something in return. Like heaven was bankrupt already. Jesus came down and gave you an opportunity to have a relationship with a holy God while you were still a sinner. That's enough. If he don't give you nothing else, you've got more than what you deserved already. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be given under the estimation if I give this, I'm going to get this back. That's gambling. Mm -hmm. I might well go on prize picks. (laughs) Oh, wow. If if I bet $5 bet $5 on this player right here, I can win 50. That would, you know what I'm saying? You you can't gamble with God. You can't pimp God. God is in the blessing business, y'all. He in Man, the blessing business. He ain't you no get? Gen, he ain't no genius. And, and what I'm saying is, what, what I'm saying is, y- y- it's like you're blessed. When God bless you, He is like, yo, give to that person in, in need. Bless the people. Bless, bless people that you hear in problems. You like the Acts Church. When I think about the Acts Church, it was so beautiful. Was that they had stuff that other people needed and they gave. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And they gave to the poor. They gave to their church. They gave to everything. So I think it really depends on, like you said, your heart. But at the same time, if I, I'll say this, I know me and my wife, we've tithed and we tithe, and God has did some miraculous things in our lives. I'm not saying True. that's not. That's I ain't gonna say not for everybody because I I, really, I believe in the tithe, mm-hmm. um, first fruits. But yeah, the first fruits. But I think at the same time, if um, if you're if you're kind of like arm wrestling people into giving money, it's kind of like uh. Um, but at the same time, I do I do uh, agree with covenants though. If you are in a covenant, like if you sign a membership covenant with somebody or a membership um, thing and joining the church, and you said this is I promise to do X Y Z, then you should come up with your promise. But at the same time. You should, if the Lord is telling you to give to somebody, you should give to them. Mm-hmm. But also, you should give to your church too. Yeah, right? I don't know, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I think the church should be given to the poor as well. Yeah. Because in Acts yeah. five, it was all a part of it. Yeah. The the yeah. poor were so important to him mm-hmm. that he established deacons to make sure they were taken care of. So, Keon, if you have such an issue with people giving to the poor, how about you create an allotment in your church if you don't already yeah. so that people can give to the church and then, therefore, they're still giving to the poor? Oh, like, he going to watch good. this and say, Sister Nia, I got that already. Oh, with Christ, when they said Christ looked upon the 5,000, he saw them as sheep without a shepherd. Yeah. If you a sheep without a shepherd, when you're looking at the reference for that, like like people who don't have a covering, people yeah. don't you know what I'm saying? like, And he stopped what he was doing and he fed those people. Yeah. All 5,000. Yeah. He didn't say, hey, like y'all this is my church now y'all gotta do no so it was just like i saw people in need yeah. and i helped them that's what yeah. you see with christ it wasn't no no leverage or wasn't no coercion and nothing going on i saw a need i fixed it yeah like, mm-hmm. 